Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, September the 9th. Okay, not much to report. The market uh, went down further from last Friday, but it has now recovered very nicely. Look at the Ichimoku cloud. It has found support there and now it's a big jump in the last three days and it's likely to go to the previous uh, lower high here at about 429 which happens to be very close to my cost if you go to the analyze tab and look here at my position you can see that my cost my average cost is 430 dollars and 30 cents which means that if we do make it there uh, we will begin to essentially make money if we if our channel holds you can see my uptrend that i designed or drew last time it's very very close it came just a little lower before below that but it bounced right back into the ichimoku cloud let me just get closer so you can see that more clearly i'm sorry let me select the proper tool here Right there you see how this day, which was on the 6th, um, so Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, we have a drop below the Ichimoku cloud, but a quick rebound, and that should have been a sign. And now since there, it's firmly uh, above the Ichimoku cloud. Interestingly, you have these three, two long bodies that are green, uh, can, for those who watch candlestick patterns that that is a three white soldiers it's called it means uh, a bullish pattern nah, it doesn't really matter much just to say that there is this is a clear rebound a strong move and found support over the Ichimoku cloud and it should uh, stay within our trend more like most likely break the downtrend we'll see about that okay that's if the market is to pull back it will be at that specific um, previous trend okay we'll see if it breaks above it then the uptrend will hold and we could see um, bigger gains okay it doesn't really matter for us this is a long-term strategy that we're following and we are just buying a lower and lower prices uh, I have in cash uh, $309.20. We need a little more than that. So I'm going to deposit, so to speak, uh, another $500. I say I just cash because it's a paper trading account for demonstration purposes only, and I'm adding $500. Okay, You can add once a week, once every two weeks, whatever um, you can... Um, save and then when you have enough you um, you buy one share of course I'm doing this every week in order to have some kind of consistent uh, change okay so now we have eight hundred and nine dollars so I can definitely buy my share so click go to the trade tab I'm sorry at the analyze tab and just click here and say create or you can better yet let's go to the add simulated trades and just click on the ask here and that gives me a hundred shares you just have to delete the zeros because I'm buying only one share at four hundred and five dollars and thirty three cents okay and let's do that confirm and set and by the way look at my current price my average price of all the shares of the 69 shares that I have included um, bought along the way uh, my cost has averaged to $430.30. So uh, buying one at a lower price, what would it would it reduce? Perhaps not very significantly. Let me unlock it. Let's delete this. Unlock it and send it again. Confirm and send. And you can see that it lowered just a bit. Okay, so when the market is low, we are reducing our cost basis. That's the whole purpose. We continue to uh, deposit and buy one share once a week, regardless. And right now we are 
$500 at a time or $400 at a time, we have accumulated 28,775, of which we have lost $1,726. That is about to reverse, in my opinion, but we'll see. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you very much for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.